Ahoy! Hello, Dustin. What are you searching? Uh, something about the information of America. Really? America? You know I'm from America, right? Yeah. Recently, I have an idea of moving to uh, America to live. Okay. So how's that coming? Uh, actually, I shared uh, a lot of information, but all about just uh, the paperwork and uh, the interview question. But I want to know more about the daily life of America. Okay. Yeah. Can you help me? Yeah. Actually, I can help you a lot because I have a lot of Vietnamese friends in California and even before I came to Vietnam. So I think I can give you a lot of input and knowledge. So we'll start first with before you go to America and then later we can talk once you're in America so we can separate it. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. In my opinion, probably the most important thing is English. Having great communication English. Yeah, because in Vietnam, you know, we're making a video right now for learning English. And it's not because people here are English teachers or promoting things, but it's, you know, America, everyone speaks English. You know, some people speak Spanish, and it's very multicultural. It's a lot of languages. But everything is in English. It's so critical and so important. You can join an English center. English clubs, finding jobs where you're working with foreigners or making foreign friends, but communication is key. You gotta really improve your conversational English. It's so, vital. So I need to improve my English. Yeah. And another thing is when you move to America, oftentimes you'll look for a job. But having some sort of soft skill, where a soft skill, you've done something at work in Vietnam, you've had a job in Vietnam, you've learned something in Vietnam, you've learned teamwork, you've learned how to interact with people. It's okay for it's Vietnamese or foreigners, it doesn't matter. But for your resume and even going to the United States for work or college or friends, this will really help you with a lot of things. So having maybe a part-time job in Vietnam or even a full-time job before will help you a lot with adapting and going to America. Another thing, um, oftentimes maybe before you move to the United States you think you have to buy a ton of stuff. But if you've never been to the United States, you don't know where you're living in the United States, you don't know the weather, you don't know anything about it. So I would almost say don't buy too much. Because if you're going to buy too much, you're going to come over to the U.S. with these massive boxes and sometimes you might have a problem. Like maybe bring your rice cooker, but that outlet where you plug your rice cooker in, it's different from Vietnam and the U.S. It won't work. And I know everyone thinks the U.S. is very expensive, but you can be say that a second-hand store, you can go to places where they sell like use things that are much cheaper and you can also find deals for a lot of it. So don't, don't buy too much, don't pack too much, you don't need to bring too much, because everything here you can buy in the US as well. So another thing, um, I don't know if this is a really big deal, but say I'm from Southern California, you moved to Southern California, it, the weather there is very hot and the winters are not too cold. But if you move to say Montana or New York, the weather is very different. So if you're going to be bringing clothes, because a lot of time, my Vietnamese friends are often cold in areas like Black or the winter in Hanoi. But foreigners, uh, it's not that cold. So when you're packing clothes, you want to make sure that you have enough clothes while you're there, but you can also buy some as well. And maybe some people are worried about like fashion, like the clothes that you're wearing and trying to fit in. It depends where you live, but sometimes there's different trends, there's different styles, and there's different ways of wearing something. And if you're moving to the U.S. and if you want to maybe try to fit in, in some places, some places it might not matter, but in some areas it may help a little bit. Um, I would probably not buy a ton of clothes in Vietnam, despite Vietnam being cheaper. Uh, you can have enough, and then later you can do more, change your style, or buy the clothes that you need for whatever city that you're living in. Okay. I did not buy it. Okay. Uh, another thing, because I know, say, like, the healthcare in Vietnam and the U.S. is a bit different, but in Vietnam, it's a lot cheaper. And if you go to America, some, you often need health insurance, which can be very expensive, or you get it through a job. But I would encourage you, maybe you need to go to the dentist. In Vietnam, go to the dentist. You need to do, like, a basic health check. I would do as much as you can in Vietnam. 
before you go to the U.S. And because it's going to save you a, a lot of money. In the U.S., it can be really, really expensive if you have a problem of some sort. Okay, so these are these are maybe five things to do before. Uh, but I have probably a lot more to say after because once you're living in the U.S., it's different. And I've had a lot of Vietnamese friends in Southern California who have moved to the U.S. when they're young, or as a teenager, or as an adult, or even like being you, people who've been there for a couple of generations. So, the first thing that I think was once you're living there, oftentimes people are trying to save money. Um, one big difference, like say street food in Vietnam, you can get food everywhere and it's relatively cheap or just it's reasonably priced. But in the United States, it's expensive. If you're going to a restaurant, it's going to be expensive. If you're eating out every day, it's very expensive. So saving money, I would say learn how to cook. Now, I mentioned that learn how to cook in Vietnam, but cooking at home will help you a lot. And also with housing, housing in the US is also very expensive compared to Vietnam. Um, you can get roommates, and I would encourage you to find a roommate who is an English speaker. I know you want to meet with your Vietnamese friends, but you really got to try to hang out with English speakers. Uh, but you can get roommates where you can save a lot more money with roommates, and also the roommate can help you with the problems that you have. Because when you come to a new country, you don't know so many things, and you often need help. So your roommate can help you with saving money. Yes. You know, show you how to cook and how to shop around, and how to save money at the market, and how to do something in a way that will help reduce some of your cost of a lot of things. Another thing, um, getting around. So getting around is like going from one place to another. In Vietnam, you have your motorbike, which is very convenient, and it, oftentimes it's not that far. Maybe it's two or three or four kilometers. In the United States, many people have to commute really far. Like, for example, my dad would drive wow, between one to two hours just to go to work, and then one to two hours to come home. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a long drive, but the big difference is in Vietnam, it's not a far distance, but you're driving a motorbike. But in the US, it's a very far uh, distance. So if you're driving, you have to learn how to drive. And if you're driving, you're going to be driving a car because people don't really use motorbikes so much. So I need to learn to drive in a car. Yes. But one thing though, cars in America, you can get cars for relatively cheap. Like, you know, some mo motorbikes in Vietnam cost like Hai Mui Chiu, Ho Mui Chiu. You can buy a car for that in the US. It's not the nicest car, but you can still get a car, like a very, very, very cheap car. Also, another thing, um, I don't know too much about this, but in some ways you can always get like government assistance. Where if people are having problems living, maybe their income is too low, um, then even universities, if you're studying abroad or you're moving, you can get a lot of additional help for different things. So that's something I don't know too much, but for you, especially when you're there, definitely look into things like that. The last thing, you should get a job. Definitely get a job. Yeah, get a job in the U.S. Even if the job is doing nails or working at a fast food restaurant or doing something that's maybe not the most enjoyable. Because if one, you live alone, you know, you're not going out eating at restaurants, you can't drive, and you don't have a lot of English speaking friends or just friends in general, you're going to feel very alone. And getting a job will help you with your English, you're going to learn. Um, different skills, hopefully. Yeah, depending on making money, absolutely. Because a lot of things in the US um, are more expensive, but even the job that is more paying, it will still help you pay for enough. Because you get paid at a higher wage. Because in the US we have a minimum wage. So in California, I don't know what it is, but we'll say for one hour you make $12, which is maybe like a item only get for an hour. But that is not a lot, but it's enough to pay for certain things. Because it's a different standard of living. Yeah. It's making For sure. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more, but this is the things that I can think of right now that I'm sure that will benefit you the most. Does it help? Yeah, thank you. Like, it's really, really useful for me. Now I feel more like confident to learn.
know exactly what I need to improve so okay. right now. Good. But I need to improve English. Yeah, I mean, I would say that. I know sometimes you mispronounce something, but yes. yeah, English is key for a lot yes. of it. And you try to learn something to do a part time job. Okay. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> and for you guys, if you're looking at moving abroad or studying abroad, I hope that you found this video very helpful because it's going to be very overwhelming and there's going to be a lot of information. But I, I really, really encourage you is to get involved. You have to do something. If you just stay at your house, especially if you move overseas, you're going to feel really lonely. And you need to make friends, you got to get a job, and you, you need to adapt. You just jump in there and do it. you got to start doing something. Because if not, it's going to be really difficult for you. But I wish you guys the best because I know V is uh, <sighs> so, so nervous and scared. But I know you guys can do it as well. And as always, have a great day, you guys. I'll see you later. Okay? Bye bye.